A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. And after getting into a boat, he crossed the sea and came to his own town. And just then, some people were carrying a paral paralyzed man lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. Then some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, perceiving their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Stand up and walk? but so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Stand up, take your bed, and go to your home. And he stood up and went to his home. When the crowds saw it, they were filled with awe, and they glorified God, who had given such authority to human beings. I don't know about you, but sometimes I really wonder, in fact, sometimes I even worry about you know, where I would stand if I had been a part of this picture, right? Would I be amongst those who were in awe of Jesus or would I be with the, the religious segment who is working so hard to prove him to be a fraud? Would I be skeptical? Would I be so hardened in my heart that I could not see the miracles taking place right in front of me? Think about that for a while. Think about that for yourselves and where you think you would fall with that. There are so many things that go on in our world today. And of course, there's always a side to take I learned earlier today that Roe versus Wade has been re repealed. And it, it's, I have to say, though, I've never been a strong proponent of uh, abortion. I have been a strong propon proponent of a person's right to choose. And I have d done so from the position of understanding that for me, abortion is not something that I would choose, but I don't think that I have the right to decide what other people should choose. And so it saddens me in a way. It feels a bit like we're going backwards instead of forward. And of course, you know, when I think about our Christ and his absolute commitment to not only life, but life that's full of wholeness. The way he went about healing people, helping them to become their best selves. I could never um, think of him as a proponent of abortion at all. Um, however, I can't speak for him and, and for people in their varying types of circumstances. And so it it's, remains a difficult and a challenging topic, but I don't think the motivation for changing that law is a pure one. And that troubles me as well. But only our God can see what's truly in a person's heart. And so I can only hope and pray that the people who have made these decisions made them out of purity and not out of manipulation or game playing. That they give some real thought to the consequences of such a decision and how it will impact real lives the Pharisees in this section of scripture are ready to not believe Jesus, to think that he's a charlatan, that he's just being a showman and tricking people, having some little trick in his bag that he can pull out. But Jesus is real. 
and he genuinely brings healing to this man who is genuinely able to stand up and walk away. I pray for us all that we would see the realness in our Christ, our Savior, that our hearts would be full of love and commitment to him. And that even as we face very challenging uh, issues in our society, that we would face them through the lens of the Christ who laid down his life on behalf of our sins. Amen.